Welcome to Hit and Strength. I am Courtney. We've got a fun class today, as usual. Lots of strength, lots of cardio, lots of sweat, muscle burn. All you need is a set of weights. My weights are eight pounds. You can definitely go heavier. I like to go a little lighter so that I can chat with you. You need a mat, probably, or carpet, and a water bottle to quench your thirst. Let's get warmed up. Shoulder rolls back for two. And lift up to your toes. Let's go. We got a little warm up here. And then we'll get right into the big action. Always important to warm up our bodies before we get right into the hard stuff. That way we don't get injured. Let's move a little faster, or I'm going to. Roll those shoulders back. Are we full of energy yet? That's okay, we will be. Squat it down, reach up, then come up. Squat it down, hold it down, reach across, and up. Good, reach up and over, straight to the side, not so much to the front, right up and over to the side. Working those legs as well. Getting nice and warm. 15 seconds to go here. Seven. Pushing one foot back, getting our calf coming up to high knees. One foot back, three high knees, just to switch legs. You don't have to jump those high knees if you're not ready yet, or if you want to stay low impact, you can just march. Throughout the class, you can always modify for low impact. Just go ahead and take out that jump. I'll try to remind you, but if I don't, just take out the jump and then you're good. 12 seconds. Going into a lateral lunge. One lateral lunge, reach forward, come up, then to the other side. Reach it forward, staying down as you reach those hands forward, and then pushing off that outer leg to get back to center. Starting to breathe a little harder. Heart rate's coming up a little bit. Nice. Getting those inner thighs. Pushing off that leg. 15 seconds. We are headed to the floor after this. Five seconds onto our knees into a lunge twist. Right from our knees. One foot out, twist up, and then back to your knee. Other side, twisting up. That's it. Nice. Love the energy already. We're bringing it, we're bringing it strong today. Fifteen seconds. Next up, we do a squat, extend our legs, and then we walk out to a plank. Three, two, one. Feet center, squat it down, extend it up, walk out to a plank, walk it back. Just squat, extend it up, get those hamstrings. Opening up our hips on the squat, dropping that booty down. Nice, 20 seconds. Let's go, let's go. Warming up our shoulders, a little bit of our upper body here. Five seconds, we stand up. 
One scoop, one deadlift. Here we go. Scoop it, get low, and then just drop it over. Once again, working our hamstrings. Reaching down, touching those toes, maybe. And bringing it right back up. Getting low in those legs on that scoop. Squat it down. 20 seconds right here. Nice, Ellie. We got 10. Taking it up a notch next. One jack, one knee tap. Reach it up on the jack, reach it. Tap it. All right, once you get this movement, let's speed it up just a bit. Jack and tap. Go, Zach. We got 22 to go right here. Two more exercises after this of warm up. <laughs> I just thought about low impact here. Here's how it looks. <laughs> Stop me right in my tracks. Five seconds. Two double knee drives to each side and then switch. Make your arms like running arms, athletic arms. Drive those knees. You should feel your glutes stretching out just a bit as you drive those knees into your chest. Go Kirby. Takes a little coordination. 15 seconds right here. Good Susan. Seven. Finishing off our warm up with just scissors. Here we go, scissors. Let's go ahead and bring our arms up and down, up and down. Working that heart rate just a little more by using your arms. All right, we're feeling a little more energized than we started. Good, I hope so. I know Mickey is. 17. We got our weights. Go ahead and you can have more than one size of weights. If you'd like, you might need a lighter, you might need a heavier for certain exercises. Two, one, done. Wrapping up that warm up. Looking strong already. Grab some water, walk around, and we will get going. Nice work. You should be slightly out of breath. Should be warmer. Muscles ready to work. Starting with, you have your weights. I'm just going to show you. Right arm comes up first and serves to the side. Then the left arm. And then we bring it back in. Right arm first, then the left. We go in five. Are we ready? Confusing? I know. Two, one. Right arm first, up and serve. Left arm, up and serve. Bring it in right. Staying with that right lead the whole minute. Good, knees are soft. Give yourself a smile, you've made it through the warm up. <laughs> now we're ready. As usual, five exercises of strength, then a full Tabata cardio. For each round, we have three rounds of that, varying it up each time. Then we have our finishers. It goes by quick. You won't believe it when it's over. You'll think, wow, that was quick. I did it. 12 seconds right here. One exercise in particular is a killer, I'll tell you when we get there. It's not a cardio, it's a strength. All right, rest it, rest it on your back. You can have both weights, we're only gonna be using the right side though. On our back, hips are up, chest fly, we open up. 
just with the right arm only. Here we go, we're on. Just right arm only, open up to that chest fly. So why do we work one side only? Why not just work both all the time? Well, when you work one side, you really get to focus on that side. Sometimes when you work both, one side's dominating, you don't really realize it. And the other side, you're not working as hard. So we focus on one side at a time, sometimes, just to really get all that juicy action on one side. Also, with this exercise, you'll notice as you pull back in, you're working your core quite a bit. If we were doing both sides, we wouldn't be working our core at all. But to keep ourselves centered, to keep ourselves balanced, we have to work our core when we do one side. Eight seconds. How's that chest? Doing good? Two, one. Boom, we did it. Okay, hard one coming up next. Get ready. We are, you can always stand up and just do a tricep kickback or one on your knees. I'd like you to try this on your elbow with a kick up. Two, one, here we go. Right, le right hand only, right hand only. You're on your left elbow. We're here the whole minute, you can do this. You are so strong, you are so tough, you've got this. You can always drop down to a lighter weight, I'd like you to try it. Just holding yourself up is a challenge. You can always drop to one knee. 30 seconds left, come on. Let's go, Maria. Focus. Stay with me. You got it, Randy. 15 seconds. Come on, Hilda. 10. Feeling that oblique, working hard. Four, three, two, one. Oh, yes. Bring it up. Oh, my goodness. So tough, right? All right. Rotations with a thrust. So we're squatting and then coming up, rotating one side for that shoulder raise. Two, one, let's go. Ooh. I know our arms are going to be yellow after this workout. I actually did a variation of this workout fairly recently and I was like, screaming the whole time with how much my shoulders were hurting, my arms were hurting. I was using 10 pound weights, this time I'm using eight pounds. That way I'm not screaming the whole time during the class, but. How's those shoulders? They're burning, right? 20 seconds. Let's go. Come on, Sylvia. 10, 5, 3, rest, ah, one more, one more till cardio. We have one reverse fly working that back to a knee drop. Just dropping that knee down. We're alternating sides on this round with the knees. Two, one, one reverse fly. Just drop that knee down, stay low. Remember, alternating those knees. Everybody, think about your form. Flat back over. So how do we get a flat back? We pull our shoulders back, stick our chest out, stick our booty out. Good little balance challenge here as well. Looking good, Donna. Think about your back, pulling those weights up to the side. 22 seconds to go. Ready for cardio? Ready to start sweating a little more? Coming up next. 10. Five. Three. Two. One, set those weights down. We don't need them for cardio. Two exercises, the first one. We inchworm out, knee tuck, inchworm back. You can always just do a little climber if you wanna stay low impact. 
we walk out, knee tuck, walk in. Second exercise, lunge jacks. Coming in, clapping under our leg. We ready? We go in five. Come on down, two, one. Here we go, inchworm out. Knee tuck, high impact or low impact. Let's go. If you're jumping, tuck those knees right into your chest, all the way almost up to your armpits. Two, one, rest. Nice. One done, seven more to go. Lunge jacks, clapping under the leg. Two, you can walk or jump them, let's go. You can walk or jump the lunges. Gotta get low enough to try to clap under that leg. All while keeping your chest up though, we don't wanna drop it over. Keep it up, keep it up. Seven. Three, two, one, boom. Nice. Back to those inchworms. Whoop, whoop. Three, two, let's do it, climb it out. Tuck it, back in, go, go. Come on, Gwen. Eight. Go, Naomi. Three, two, one. Rest. That gets your thighs burning. Lunge jacks. Two, one. Let's go, Steve. Let's do it. Come on. Now is the time to push that heart rate. Hop. Eight. Five. Three. Two. Rest. Yes. Halfway. Inchworm in three, two. Let's go, let's go. We were talking about heart rate, having a discussion about heart rate, BMI, in, and calories burned in the comments. I think from last week's workout. Five, three, two. Rest. Whew, lunge jacks. I get comments all the time about how many calories do I burn? What should my heart rate be? Two, one, let's go. It's honestly different for everybody. It depends so much on your size, on how much you burn. If you're smaller, you burn less. But it also depends on your fitness level as well. It depends on your heredity too. One, so many factors that go into it. We all burn at different rates, so it's hard to say how much. Two, one, last set, let's go. Knee tuck, come on, push it. Last chance for these right here. Eight, five, three, two. Oh, rest those thighs. Anyone else? Oh, last 20 seconds here. Two, one, go. Hup. Come on, get low, explode high. Boom, power in those legs. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. Yes, you did it. Way to finish round one. Woo, get some water, drinks all around. Walk around, stay loose, don't sit down. We have about 30 seconds. So, back to my discussion. We, if we're fit, if we're strong, muscular, you will burn more calories throughout the day though. And that's the ticket right there. I'm like a little engine with all this muscle, <laughs> burning calories. 10 seconds. This time, same thing, left arm leads though. Out, up and out. Two, one, here we go, left arm leads. Now right, 
Now left in. We're getting it now. Good. Because there is no way that I could eat as much as I do and be this small and burn so few calories. Because in these workouts, for me, I only burn maybe 250 calories, which sounds so small, right? But building muscles, building fitness, so throughout the day, I burn more and therefore get to eat a lot more, which is my goal. 20 seconds. <laughs> Good. 10 seconds to go. We are in round two already. How's that feel? Pretty good? Four, three, two, one. Yes, on your back. Uh-oh, I just realized what's coming. We have those chest flies first. With the left side, hips are up. Two, one, right arm stays stationary. Left arm opening up. This is where you wanna go heavier. If you have a heavier weight, Try it, see how you do. Now, not to scare anyone, but we have that other side with the tricep coming up. I want you to focus on your chest right now, but also get it in your head that you are going to do the next exercise. You're gonna make it the whole minute. 30 seconds to go here. Keeping that body center. Try not to lean it side to side. Opening up that arm a little more. 12 seconds. So Norma. Five, three, two, one. Ugh, hips come down. Roll yourself up, get rid of one weight. Are we ready? Yes, you are. No more time to waste. Onto your right elbow. Left arm comes up in two, one. Kick it up, kick it up, kick it up. Come on. You are a powerhouse. Let's go. Your batteries are charged. You're ready for this. You're gonna make it. Let me look at the time. <laughs> I'll tell you the time when we have really good news. All right? Okay, you are over halfway. Amazing. Keep going, keep pushing, keep pressing. Let's go, Vicky. How's that a week? Wow, he's on fire. Everything's on fire, right? 10 seconds. You got this. Five. Couple more. Two. One. Ah, you made it. You made it. All right. Thrusters. Right arm only. Right arm only. I want you to hold both weights though. Woo wee. Let's make sure I'm right on that. Yep. Two, one. Let's go. Right arm only. Staying on the right arm. Yes, we're working that shoulder. Even more. Luckily, it's the opposite shoulder of the one we just worked, right? Thank goodness for that. Everybody get a little lower in that squat now. Good. Let's go, Emily. Work it, Laura. 25 to go. Come on, Felix. You got this, keep going. Just think of how beautiful your shoulders are gonna look. And strong. Seven. You got it, Yasi. Three, two, one. <laughs> Woo! How was it? Those of you with heavier weights, wow, I'm impressed. Okay, one reverse fly, then dropping just the right knee, just the right knee. Two, one, let's do it. Stay 
Swing on the right. So with this one, you can go either way. You can keep that chest slightly bent over. You'll get a little more in your glute, or you can bring your chest up for more of a reverse lunge to get your thighs a little more. The bent over will get your glute a little more. Good, 25 seconds to go. I think we'll go ahead and pulse the lunge. What do you think? Let's do it. 20 seconds, bring it back. Let's pulse that lunge. So chest is up now. Make it big, make it big. Let's go, let's go. Work in those thighs. Also your glute should be on fire. Two, one, and just like that, we're into cardio number two. All right, we have two exercises as always. First one is a knee twist to two stars. So two knees, one each side, two stars. You can do low impact. The next one is another scoop, scoop, touch jump, scoop, or low impact. We go in five, are you ready? Yes, we are. Two, one, two knees, two stars. Come on. Way to jump it. Get some air. 10. Let's go, Claudia. Three, two, one, rest. You. One scoop, one tuck in three, two, one. Let's go, let's go. Scoop it, tuck it. Get those knees up there. Go Tova. Come on Athena, eight seconds. Four. Two, one, rest. Yes, way to take it all the way to the end. Good, knee twist to jumps. Two, one, go, two knees, two stars. Hop. Keep that energy up. You got it, Elise. Eight. Four, three, two, rest. Oh, nice work. One scoop, one tuck, coming up. Two, one, let's go, get low, get low. Get high, low to high. Come on, come on, lower, lower. 10. Push it, Linka. Four, two, one, rest. Nice work. That time I missed the last tuck. <laughs> Knee twist, two, one, go. Two stars. Go, Winnie. Ten seconds. Come on, back. Punch it, I know you know how to punch it back. Two, one, rest. Are we here? You're with me? Good. One scoop, one tuck. Two, one, go, go. Hop. Come on. Come on, get those knees up. Higher. Eight. Five. Gotta get in that last tuck this time. Two. One. Rest. Yes. Last set. Can you go a little faster? Can you get a more rounds in? Two. One. Let's do it. Come on. Make it your best. Ten. Seven. Three, two, one, rest. Oh, this one's hard, yes? Last 20 seconds. We've made it. Two, one, go. 
乱了菜走。You got this. All the way, bringing it home. Seven. Four. Two. One. Rest. You did it. How do we feel? You nailed it. Walk around. Hydrate. There you go, everybody. That one was hard. There's a fire, take me higher, leave it all over Amazing. All over Just like that, we're into round three. 20 seconds to go. Leave it all over You're again. looking so strong. Finish this out with me. We have both arms at once. Curl to serve. And back Leave down. Grab your weight. Seven seconds. I know you're not fully recovered, but that's okay. We're starting anyway. Two, one. Let's go. You don't want to wait till you're fully recovered to start. You want to get going. Right away, recover on the go. Of course, that's different if you're lifting super heavy weights. If you, say, go to a gym and you're doing the machines and you want to go very heavy, like sort of maxing out, you definitely want to rest between those sets. But for everything that we do here on this channel, you want to keep it moving. Last round of biceps here. 22 seconds to go. Tomorrow I'm going to film last, a few weeks ago I was talking about doing a workout, filming a workout, a recorded workout. 10 seconds. Oh, I don't want to tell you the story, but I'm so tired. <laughs> Three, two, one. Rest. Oh, my arms hurt. Oh my gosh, okay, we are on our back. This time we are doing just a chest press with a bridge again. We will, um, we will pulse the last 20 seconds, but for now, full range of motion, down and up, chest press. Not a fly this time, just a press. So a few weeks ago I talked about doing a workout with all the equipment that I use, which is still very minimal. I like to use minimal equipment so that everybody has access to the workouts from home. But using the step, using the towels, using the weights, obviously the mat. 15 seconds till we pulse, keep pressing. So I'm gonna film that one tomorrow, I'm gonna to plan it today. I'm excited about it, I'm gonna film it here at home. That way I have a uh, hard surface. Two, one, pulse it, pulse it. Pulse that chest, this is your last chance for a chest. Yeah, so, um, seven seconds. I will finish this story when I have a moment. <laughs> Two, one, press it up, drop your hips, roll up. We are coming all the way to standing. Guess what? We are not doing the one arm on this round. We're doing regular tricep kickbacks, standing up. Okay, bring your elbows up, press it out. Two, one, let's go. Kickbacks the whole minute. Your triceps should be pretty fatigued from all that we did previously. Let's finish this one. Let's make it burn. All right, everybody, when you get slightly uh, ahead of your hips, stop your weights and then bring them right back out. Not using the momentum, we're not swinging. About 30 seconds left. So when the, uh, when COVID first started, I was doing all these workouts in my garage. And a big thanks to so many people who have stuck with me. Zach, Donna, Steve, Ellie, Mickey, Kirby, Susan. Anyway, 10 seconds to go. Let's see what's coming up here. Oh, thrusters. Five, three, two, one. Rest. All right, we got that left side on those thrusters. Get ready for some shoulder burn. <laughs> Squat to thrust. Squat to press, whatever you want to call it. Two, one. Staying on that left, staying on that left. 
So anyway, back to my garage story. For those of you that don't have a step at home, which I know that's many of you, for like probably two years, I did not have a step at home either. I used just a regular step stool. So this workout I'm filming tomorrow that's gonna come out in a few weeks, you all can do it. Just need a little step stool. You need two towels, a place to slide. We're gonna use it all. I'm excited about it. 22 seconds to go. You notice your shoulder isn't it's burning. Maybe not as bad because we didn't do those one arm triceps. Eight seconds. Still burning though. Yep. Four, three, two, one. Oh, way to go. Way to finish that. Oh, nice. One reverse fly. One knee drop on the left. Here we go. In three, two, flat back over. Let's do it. Remember, if you stay hinged forward with a flat back but hinged at the waist, you're gonna get a little more glute action. If you wanna bring your chest back, chest up, more thigh action. We will pulse the last 20 just like before. Shoulders are back. That's it, Ariel. 10 seconds to go. You got it, Constantino. Five. Two. I'm gonna get in one more reverse fly and pulse. Make it big. Make that pulse big. Good. Yes. Ten seconds. Keep going. We are on a mission to the end. We're gonna make it through all the finishers, all the stretching. Two. One. Nice. Okay, lots of cardio coming up. Drop those weights. First exercise of two. We have a burpee with a side tuck jump. Burpee, side tuck. You can do it low impact just by stepping over, walking that burpee. Next, lunge, jump with a kick, and then switching sides. We got that, we go in five. Ready for burpees, two, one. Let's go, burpee. Side tuck jump, move to the side. Like you're jumping over a hurdle or a little wall. You gotta get over it. Right, Ellie? Five. Three. Two. Rest. Woo. Oh boy, another hard one. <laughs> All right, lunge kicks. Two, one. Let's go. Hope. Kick it. So before you switch, I want you to do a little pulse down with your legs, just to get some more leg action. Get low, five, three, two, one. Rest, nice work. Round one done, three more to go. Side to side tuck, burpee, two, one, go. Push it. Come on, Valeria. 10. Hop. Let's go, Ori. Five. Three. Two. One. Rest. Oh. Fantastic. Lunge kicks. So get low in those legs. Two. One. Go. Do it. Come on, Julie. Up. Oh. oh yeah, those thighs, I feel them. 10. Ugh. Come on, snap that kick. Three, two, one. Rest. Yes. How we doing? Amazing burpees. Two, one, let's go. You got this. We are so close now, everybody. Keep pushing. Come on, get over that wall. Eight. Four. Two. One. 
rest. You're looking so strong. Lunge kicks, two, one, go, go. Come on, Michelle. Michaela, let's go. Hup. Nine. You got it, KT. Two, one, rest. Last set. Final set. Burpees, two, one, go, go. Big jump. Get those knees up there. You can't get over a wall if you don't get the knees up. Eight. Push it. Four. Two. One. Rest. Check that one off. Lunge kicks. Two. One. Let's do it. Yes, you can. You're a warrior. 10. Come on. Keep pushing. Three, two, one. Rest. Rest. You earned it. You earned an amazing rest. We're going into cardio again. Are we ready? One more minute of cardio. Take a sip if you need it. Keep moving around. Okay. Option one is to stand up and just give me high knees. Running or marching, just keep moving. Option two, this is what I want. In a crab position, two table jacks, four climbers. We go in eight seconds. Choose your poison. Get ready. Let's start on time. Three, two, two table jacks, four climbers. Come on. Hold yourself up the whole minute. If you're doing high knees, get them up there. Let's go. Using your core, using your triceps again. Triceps again? <laughs> All right, Mandy. Come on, Francesca. You are halfway. Keep those legs moving. Keep moving. That's all I ask. Come on, Alma. 20 seconds. 15. Go, go. Keep moving. All the way to the end. Last seven. Couple more rounds. Three, two, one. Rest. Oh, you did it. I should not be on my back, but feels good for a second. You did it. Way to go. All right. Whew. Okay, we are gonna be on our elbows. Going into abs, we feel good. Cardio is done on our elbows, legs off the ground. We tuck one knee in, bring it over and out. We have 10 seconds still. Take a breather, bring it down. If you're, if you're a, anyway, just bring it down. <laughs> Two, one, let's go. My mind goes blank when I'm so breathing so hard. All the, I need all the oxygen I can get. So we're alternating legs. Try to keep your feet off the ground. Bring one knee in, rotating over. Sweating like crazy, everybody. I feel like winter's over. I'm just back to sweating again in here. 20 seconds. This is one of three abs exercises. We have one other exercise. Oh, lovely, I see a spider crawling around on the floor. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, nice, roll it up. Come on over to all fours. 
option to keep your knees on the ground. I would really like you to lift them and do a glute press alternating side. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay. So the goal here is to keep your knees close to the ground. Everybody wants to lift them, and I get that. Keep them close to the ground. Keep checking, make sure your knees are only a couple inches off the ground. <laughs> you don't have to lift your leg high for that glute press. You'll still get a huge benefit just by lifting it a little bit. Mainly keep those knees close to the ground. We're working our core, working our shoulders again. <sighs> our glutes, of course, inner thighs. 10 seconds right here. We'll go right back into those abs. Four, two, one, rest. One, two, three, On your back, corkscrew. So legs stay straight. They come up and around in a bit of a half circle and rotate to the other side. These are tough, get ready. Two, one, let's go. One, two, three, this has been a hard workout today, everybody. I know I thought it was very difficult. The cardio was tough. Keep breathing. Just Try to get those hips off the ground as you come up and over. You can always bend your knees in for a little modification. I'd like you to try to keep them straight. 12 seconds. Yeah. I know, I told you that a little late. Next time you'll remember. Right, Adrian? Three. Adrian's been with me since the beginning. Two, two, one, let's go. Ah, last, final exercise before we stretch. Legs are straight, we're sitting up. Lifting our weights, we do these a lot. Lifting our weights, I meant our legs. Two, one, let's go. Roll it up. Wow. Yep, my abs are burning. You too, Joanne? Come on, Delphine. Let's finish this off. Emily. 25 seconds to go. Are we breathing? We're almost there. If you just can't lift your legs, you can lift one leg at a time. But we keep practicing. We do these a lot. So you'll probably get there eventually. If you just keep practicing. Five. Three. Two. One. We did it. We did it, team. Feels amazing, doesn't it? Roll yourself up to sitting. Let's stretch it out. Go ahead and bring your right leg out, left leg in. And reach toward that foot. This is this great feeling every time we finish a workout, right? We made it to the end. Feeling good. breath in and exhale come down a little lower and then just take that leg tucked in bring it to the back right leg is still in front and just bring your chest right down you should feel this stretch in the back of your leg in your hamstring to move around a little bit in my stretch just to feel all the different muscles. All right, go ahead and just bring that right leg across and let's get our hip. Twisting over your right shoulder, looking out over your right shoulder, you should feel a nice stretch in your right hip. Try to get your back flat instead of hunched. You want to flatten up your back, bring your chest up. And then just uncross that leg. 
Left leg is out now. Same thing on the other side. Reach for that toe. One side is always a little more flexible than the other, yes? I know that's the case with me. You are going to have such a great rest of your day after this, now that you're feeling energized, got those endorphins going. Now it's time to pass that happiness on to someone else. Come into that hamstring. Make someone else feel good today. Tell them you love them. Give them a compliment. Tell them how great they are. How much you appreciate them. Go ahead and bring that left leg across. Get that hip going. Flat back, rising up through your chest and then twisting. Nice work, everybody. You killed this workout. You absolutely crushed it. That cardio was tough but you did it. Let's untwist and come right on in to downward dog. Bring those legs back. You can pedal your heels out if you want to a few times and then go ahead and just press them toward the floor. Shoulders are down, long neck. And then now think about your hips going up to the sky. Feeling a big stretch all the way down the back of your legs. Walking your feet on in, coming into a squat, and shifting side to side. Now, if you can't do this, this is something maybe you could work on, but you can grab your weights, you can put them under your heels, you can try this later, maybe, and put your weights under your heels or books until you can get it. I personally need to work on it barefoot. I can do it with shoes, but great for opening your hips, great for mobility. Way to go, we did it. Roll it on up. Give yourself a pat on the back, you did amazing today. You really worked it. That cardio was a killer, but you did it. I hope you're sweating like me. And we got definitely got those bodies burning today. So have a great one, everybody. I will see you for the next workout. Happy day. You killed it, for sure. We have the best team.